everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome to my channel. <laughs> For today's video, I am showing you how I edit my YouTube videos. So whether it be graphics, transitions, customization, things that you cannot do with iMovie, I'm showing you ways around it that you're able to do it for free. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. And now I'm gonna show you how I make my like and subscribe button. To make these moving graphics, I primarily use Kino, which is a free PowerPoint type of software. I'm gonna open Kino, delete what's on it, and then we're utilizing a green screen. Google Images, subscribe button, transparent background. You are going to click and drag it to where you want on the screen. You have the mouse icon, you have the subscribe icon. You place them on the green screen. Now the thing is to remember with iMovie, you don't have much freedom to move stuff around on the screen. Pretty much you have to have an idea of where you want it to be placed. And then you're gonna go up here and click animate, add a fact, move in. We can have this one move in from the other direction. Action, pop, or it looks like it clicks. We can have both of them dissolve away. Open build order. I want these two to move in together, fade out together. Export it to QuickTime. And then when you add it into iMovie, you place it on top and then put green screen and then that all disappears. As you play it, you'll see it come in, move, click, fade away. Another cool thing that I like doing is making my videos more interesting than just a plain simple clip. So I'm going to show you an example from a vlog that I have coming out pretty soon. I have these two separate clips of a concert and me and my friend at a concert. Instead of just showing like the plain clips as they are, it looks way cooler to have effects. So by placing one clip on top of the other, I click this button up here, go picture in picture, I resize the picture, I place it in the center the background bullet I changed the coloring here is what I made in a lot of my videos I do a zoom feature I think it does a lot as far as like comedic timing facial expressions I think it's a fun little edit I always use command B to split clips I want that cute face to be shown then we go to crop and either crop to fill that's so attractive wow or you can do a Ken Burns and that way it moves to make custom graphics like transitions or title pages, I create it either entirely on Keynote or I start on Canva, export it, and then create it on Keynote to animate it. Basically, most of what I do, whether it's Instagram handles popping up on the screen, custom titles, obviously my subscribe and like buttons, I create using a green screen. The only thing with iMovie that you have to keep in mind is you can only have one layer of something on top. You can't layer on layer different green screen effects. I tend to start in Canva. There's a lot of really awesome templates that are free in Canva. They're great places to start. Greens and blues fade out or disappear completely. We're just going to change that to pink instead. I'm going to delete the words entirely. Place different graphics on the screen. Let's make you white. Let's make you light pink, white, we're gonna put below. Let's say this is what I like. Next, I'm going to put it in, you know, on top of the green screen. I either create the words on Canva or I create them directly in Keynote. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Keynote. Title, screen, have a shadow. Now what I'm gonna do is copy and paste the background, crop it to be each of the elements. Now the stars are separate and we're gonna animate them. So build in, we're gonna have them both pop in, we have this top type in, also have the background come in. You make it look how you want it to. Build in, build out, you place them together after build one, and then all you have to do is export it, pull it in, again, go to green screen, and then here it is. Music plays a big part in a video. I get all my music either off of SoundCloud or YouTube. They all are copyright free, free to use, all of that good stuff. So that way you don't get copyright claims on your videos. SoundCloud takes a little bit more effort to find good songs, but I like them more because I feel like they're more unique. And then for sound effects, I either use the ones that are on iMovie or I go to freesound.org and I download it from there. I like to have a song always playing in the background. Down here where it says audio, I like to share show the waves because it makes editing so much easier. I know from here to here, I am not talking. Oftentimes, I just chop that out. I'm not saying anything, so I just delete it. 
For color correcting, I go up to this guy up here. Typically just play around with it until it looks how I want it to. One thing I recommend doing for color correcting is to do it first. That way it all looks good and then I can cut up my video and edit it how I please. That's pretty much it for today's video. This is pretty much the basics to what I do to create and edit my videos. Depending on how creative you wanna be and how much detail you wanna put into each of the graphics and titles that you create, it could take any length of time but it really is super simple and the greatest thing is that it's all free to use. If there's anything else you would like me to show you how I can create, just comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.